Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another uh, demo of a Zestian Serverlet project and it's a Java application. So now uh, first let's talk about the technical part of what the technologies that we are using here. So we are using here JSP Serverlet and uh, yeah, I'm okay so uh, for the technical side it's using JSP and Serverlet. Uh, following the MVC architecture, so you can see the beam packages are there, controllers are there, uh, many controllers are there according to the uh, modules into the application and it's using servlet, so all the controllers are available in the CTA package, controller package, exceptions, model for database transaction, utility and uh, under the SRC section you will find the BabWeb folder, under the BabWeb you will find the front end things, so uh, it's using JSP, HTML, CSS, more step obviously. It's a Maven project, so following uh, like uh, using Pomrod XML to manage the dependencies, and uh, the application is deployed over the Tomcat server. So as a server, we'll be using Tomcat 8.5, and uh, <coughs> to manage the backend and store the information, we are using MySQL database, and <coughs> the <coughs> uh, tables are available here. Uh, so inventory, material, payment, product, requirement, user, tables is there. So um, I think I forgot to name of the project. So it's a uh, supply chain management where we are going to perform some inventory operations, product operations. So technical is done now. Let's run the application and operate how the features and functionalities are working over there. So if you want to take this project from code over, you can WhatsApp us, you can mail us. Um, over over the given detail or you can ping us over the skype and don't worry about the configuration so uh, we will do the setup at your machine and we will work same as those in the demo only so uh, if you already had this project and why the already bought the project from the code one so now what step you need to uh, uh, run this application what uh, steps you need to follow to run the application so just right click on the application uh, the root folder of the application go to run as Run on server, select a server as a Tomcat, click next, finish. And if it is asking for the restart, just give it a restart server. The application is automatically launched over your Chrome browser, and this will be your home page um, where you can see some uh, like we don't providing uh, much designing because for the simplicity and it's a college project, so uh, we are making it for the uh, as a learner or as a student. Okay. So here we have two options, sign up and sign in. So for the sign up, a new user can sign up into the application by filling up this form. So when let's suppose, uh, okay, uh, here we have a user table. So in, the, in the, this user table, we are storing the uh, data of the users. Okay, so currently it has a four record. And when I fill up this form, and okay, it's, it's, it's using some validation. So we need enter proper data. So I just make it at the gmail.com. So this will be my email ID and the password is okay. For the phone number also, we need to write a valid phone number, 10 digit and role. So there are two types of role into the application, but can be a client or dealer. So I'll just select the client and hit the sign up button. The data is registered successfully. Now if I refresh the table, I can see the fifth record over there as a client. Okay, now we have a login option here. But before login, I will explain you roles of the applications, users into this application. So this application have three types of user. The first is admin, second is a client, and third is a dealer. So now uh, where you will find the username and password. Here is the email ID will be work as your username and password will be work as a password. So I'm just going to log in first as an admin and we'll show you how what operations admin can perform. After that, we'll log in as a client and then with dealer and see what these users can perform over there. So I just enter the username and the password for the admin user and hit the sign in button. So I can see the lots of options are over there. So what admin can do, admin can check the registered user list here. Admin can edit the data. Like let's suppose I want to edit the name. Just hit the update and I can as an admin uh, we can delete the data as well so if we have a delete button if I hit the delete button the data will be deleted now another option we have add product so uh, as an admin we can add a uh, product name so let's suppose I just enter this testing probe 
and submit it and i can see uh, this available here into the list so i can also edit the name or i can delete the name of the product now uh, into the inventory section what i need to do i need to enter the product cost so let's suppose uh, i just added one product and i want to add the cost for it so it's 200 dinar and here i just select my product and the company name as an admin and quantity so what we are doing here under the inventory section we are adding the product details for the quantity as an admin uh, i just submit it and the inventory is added and we have this stock for this particular product and the product is released by this company and the price is this and this is the quantity so uh, we can edit operation we can delete the operation under the inventory list also if anybody signed a requirement uh, about the product and you, you want some um, bulk order so uh, the requirement will be displayed here so it's under the check requirement so these are the signed records so we have already signed this order so now we'll do one new operation and we'll show you the example here again so <clears throat> another uh, thing is we have a check material so whatever the materials we have available, available we have so we can check this material here under here and the payment history page and we can check the transactions the whole transaction and the my profile page and log out for the admin so i just log out in as an admin now uh, login as another user that is our client so i just also we have a dealer so uh, i can log in as a first dealer then we'll move to the direct client so let's suppose i just log in as an dealer i just enter the username and password for the dealer and what a dealer can do dealer can add a new product product cost like the like a dealer cannot add the product dealer can add the, uh, can add the inventories over there so project cost here we can select the project so a dealer can update the quantity and all if we get, get new projects or new orders okay so <clears throat> product cost let's suppose i want to do 300 this time and the company name so i just change the company quantity so i just add this quantity number to 50 okay since the product name is already available okay for okay first we need to add a new product from the admin so i am just going to log in as a new user in my chrome browser and in, in my other private browser i just sign in sign in as an admin so what i can do i can uh, do parallel operations so i just enter username password for the admin here and let's add a new testing product for the admin so we have product okay, now now if i view here as a dealer on the dealer's account so what i can do i just add the inventory for this product so let's suppose our product cost is 500 and i just added one record here this one and the company name quantity all this and now we can add an inventory as a dealer I can check the list of inventory, I can delete edit them, I can check the requirement to inventory set. Now the dealer is done. Now let's the current user of the application as a client. So let's log in as a client and see what a client can do. So recently we have uh, registered as a new client. So I'm going to just log in with that client only. So I just log in. I just enter the password. Sign in. Okay, it says something went wrong. Okay, it's using some kind of validation so make sure always wherever you're entering the password the password should be in this format demo at the rate point three. it means uh, it should be have first letter as a capital later and uh, first letter as a capital letter some strings over there okay uh, sorry uh, uh, it's using a password combination but what happened uh, we have deleted that record when i just refresh the table that record is deleted let's let, let's sign up uh, from the start and as a new user and do the registration okay so i just sign up here uh, i'm going to sign up as a new user and i think it should be client and i just enter the detail as a phone number and this is my user ID. registration done for the client now if I refresh the table, I can see the new entry here with the fifth record. So I'm going to just log into this record now. Uh, when we 
enter the username password you can see this page i can check the product list that is available into inventory and i can check the material that is not available right now because i'm a new user this this client is new so it can check uh, this client only can check the product list so let's suppose i want to um, order some testing pro so i just required what i need to do i need to just enter the quantity let's suppose what quantity i need i need 20 pieces and product id so i'm just going to give it a unique number and uh, location let's suppose we file destination and submit so edit requirement now the requirement is added i can uh, now uh, nothing is displaying here because uh, we have to approve or uh, like send that material to this uh, person then only it will be enabled so if i also receive the things here and i check the inventory or uh, check requirement you can see the record is updated for this dealer and this dealer can check uh, the list of uh, like requirement that is coming from the client and sign dealer like this thing will be uh, available here so i can as a as a as an admin i can send this data or uh, like this detail to the dealer and like first what i have to do i am an admin and i have to i get one request uh, from the a client and i am going to send this request to the dealer on on which dealer whatever the dealer who is added this product so i just click on the send dealer the request will be sent it to the dealer now what i need to do i need to log in as a dealer and then i can send the material to you so i have just sent the request now uh, i'm going to just log in as a dealer this is the only dealer here so i just log out as an admin now this is my username and this is my password when i hit the sign in button now if i check the requirement you can see uh the inventory is uh, like the request is already available so this um, like the dealer got the request and when you click the sign inventories uh this uh, this is the record this is sent by requirement this is sent by the um the client and when i hit the submit button it will be signed successfully and you can see that status is updated as a sign and now let's last time log in as a client and see what the changes has been done over there so i just log in as this new client now i can check the material it's approved and sent it by the dealer when i hit the payment button i can just enter the dummy payment things and it will display me the data so I just payment done successfully. Now I can check the record into the ST as well. And the same thing will be updated for the admin user and dealer will be uh, and, and, and for the dealer user. Okay, so the demonstration is done and thank you so much for watching. If you need the source code, please connect over the support. Maybe you can ping us over the WhatsApp, you can call our, our us at the same number and don't worry about the setup and configuration and explanation in case you need uh, like uh, understanding of the source code if you are preparing for the interview uh, and you can connect with us. Thank you.